So the reason we're seeing more autism is actually from several different reasons. One of the first reasons was that in 1991-92 school year in this country, the U.S. Uh, education uh, department made autism an official diagnosis where it had not been before. And what we saw then was an explosion of cases of children being now appropriately diagnosed with autism as opposed to the old label that's not used so much anymore, mental retardation. So the numbers of children went way up for children diagnosed with autism in 91-92. At the same time, the levels for children with the diagnosis of mental retardation plummeted. Uh, the same thing happened with traumatic brain injury as another example, that that had not been an official diagnosis for the public schools until that same year. And for the same reason, there was a spike in numbers of cases of traumatic brain injury or TBI, as well as a drop in those children who had then previously been labeled mental retardation. So going forward, the subsequent additions of the DSM has included broader and broader definitions of autism. And we know that by far most of the new cases that are being accounted for are the milder forms. And these would be the things like Asperger's syndrome, folks who have had language all along, but who perhaps use it oddly and struggle with communication and social skills, but they have plenty of language. It also would include PDD or pervasive developmental delay not otherwise specified, PDD-NOS, which is also a milder form of autism. All of these diagnoses fall under the autistic spectrum rubric, but these are milder forms of it. And 50 to 75% of the increase in new cases then come under these milder forms. Then finally, there does seem to be an increase in the absolute number of cases with children who have autism. The numbers are really alarming. We have one child in every 110 children being diagnosed under the autistic spectrum, and there's a clear predilection to little boys. The number for young uh, men or boys with an autistic spectrum disorder is now 1 in 90. So there certainly is an increase in the absolute number of cases, but there's also been an increase because we've gotten better at recognizing this condition among children who were not previously well served.